today was a day full of lessons. As you guys saw, I basically had the draw on liquidity correct, but I couldn't get an entry in. So I basically had FOMO because I missed the 200 points move basically. So I couldn't get in. And I knew that we were still headed down here. We fell short of it. I drew this out, this order block, and I believe it lined up with a swing low. And I was supposed to wait for that entry, right? And you can see that we hit that spot, had the impulse down, created that fair value gap, would have been a nice 50 points down. But instead, I tried to trade in this chop here. I basically took, I think, six trades in here. And if you guys watch me, you guys know I usually only trade about two, maybe three trades in a day. So I already doubled my trades and I was down a lot. Granted, I was trading micros, so six losses, like 150 bucks, it's not too bad. And so the prudent thing to do would have been to call it a day, take my daily loss limit and walk away. Didn't happen. So we're still in this chop, chop, and I kept getting chopped up more losses, more trades. I never trade this much. I think I was just upset because I knew exactly what to do, but I was still emotionally charged from the morning. I was just pushing buttons at that point. And the big kicker was when I basically was down, I believe like 200 bucks or something. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make it back by going to minis. So I basically took a long got out luckily in profit but the worst thing that you can do as a trader is make money when you break your rules because it reinforces bad habits yeah that trade played out and i was break even on the day but it didn't feel good the morning was not bad i knew the drawn liquidity i was following my rules waiting for an entry it didn't come and that would have been okay. But then I let the emotions get the better of me and I started chasing and over trading. And that's where things went wrong, right? But I learned a lot. I learned so much in the morning, you know, and I wanted to just implement it in the next session immediately. But what I need to do is take some time, let it digest, cool off because I thought that I got the emotions out, but Little did I know I didn't. So I was literally a pendulum. So yesterday I was not taking trades. I was hesitating on this end of the extreme. And then I said, okay, I need to take my setups. I need to back myself 100%, not be scared to lose. And then I literally took every setup and was not scared to lose. And I was all the way on this side now. So basically I know what I need to focus on. I know what I did well, what I can improve on. And now I need to just let the pendulum come to equilibrium again. Again. This is just a big lesson in number one, be patient, follow your strategy because you don't get any smarter when you enter a trade. Second, size matters, right? If I went on tilt and I was on minis, that would have been a $2,000 loss instead of only a $200 loss. I guess the third lesson was don't be so hard on yourself. I was literally trading in low probability conditions. Yeah, I shouldn't have been, but... People do and they still make money and that just means that I need to be aware of the conditions and also work on my game so that I can play in these conditions if I do choose so. Overall, I think today, though it was a crazy day, I learned a lot. I learned I have a good idea on the draw on liquidity. I just need to work on my entries, whether that's using ICT's inverted fair value gap or even another strategy. And then on the other side of the spectrum, I need to work on my mental. I think it was an accumulation, honestly, of the last week or two, me not taking my trades. It was just creating a buildup of FOMO. All these missed trades, missed trades, missed trades. And then I told you guys, I just went crazy and took every trade today. I ended the day basically scratch. So I hope you guys got something out of this video. Let me know how your day went today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.